Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul for you guys. I've got makeup, I've got home decor stuff, I've got clothing. I did pick most of the clothing and the home decor stuff kind of up um, this past weekend. This makeup, I've had it for about a month, a month and a half. I did pick up some makeup this weekend as well. But some of this stuff, like I said, is new. Um, like newer to me anyways and if you do hear that little bell jingling around I did adopt a cat from the animal shelter and I might do a whole like little get ready with me introducing you guys to her but that's what it is that's what all this cat hair is flying around if you guys can see it on camera but her name is Nimoe so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started just so I can get this out of my way right here and another big thing here so I can move my seat up I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that so I actually went to Lowe's and I just went there to actually get stuff to fix the wash machine but you know how that goes. So I picked up this picture, and I'm not sure if it's either gonna, even going to be able to fit. Ugh. So yeah, I, I don't know how much of this you guys can see, but it's like a kind of beachy um, scene or whatever. <laughs> Fortunately, I couldn't get the whole thing in there, but you guys, I hope you kind of got the gist of it. I got that at Lowe's. It was $39.98. I didn't necessarily need it, and I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I'm thinking maybe hanging it up in my room um, or in the living room. I'm not exactly sure yet. But then I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I actually went in there just to get those little coconut rolls. I think I talked about them in a favorites video forever ago, but I've only been able to find them at Bed Bath & Beyond. And they were having like their sale on like their summer stuff, so I got these like cute like little hand kind of like decor towels. And they were originally $5.99 a piece, but they were like 20% off, so I think after tax and everything I got them for like $4.99 a piece. So I saved like a dollar, but this one's got like little sea turtles on it, and again, I love anything to do with the ocean or the beach, so uh, I feel like it's coming out very vibrant on camera, and it, like this is what it actually looks like, which is really nice. Again, these are more like decor hand towels, and they're by the brand Simply Southern. I'll be honest, they're not the most, like, the quality feels just fair to me, but I, I just couldn't pass up the print. And then the other one has like coral on it and little crabs, so I had to get it as well. And again, like I said, it's from that same Simply Southern brand. And then since, of course, I was in there, I was like, well, I might as well walk around. So I actually seen this on display, and if you don't know this about me, I'm obsessed with anything that's like older. Like I love that Victorian style, and I love just antique stuff. And I seen this, and it is a coat rack. If you guys can see here in the picture, if I can get like a good, it's got like the umbrella holder down here at the bottom as well, and they did have it on display, and it was not the most sturdy thing, but if you actually find these like on eBay and stuff, the actual like antique ones that are, a lot of them are mostly made out of wood, they're very, very expensive, like an actual antique. Um, so I did decide to purchase this up. It was $79, yeah, $79.99, but I had a 20% off coupon, so I ended up getting it for like $69.99 after tax and everything. And um, my dad was actually, I was telling him it felt kind of flimsy, and he said he might be able to make me some like um, heavier weights to kind of put on the bottom of it. But like I said, I haven't put it together yet or anything, but I just, I had to have it because I like stuff, like older stuff like this. So I was happy, like I said, that I actually found one um, near me and I could actually see it in person. So if you've been looking for one like that, you could definitely check out um, at Bed Bath & Beyond because they did have it. Now I do have, like I said, some other clothes and stuff like that right here. I do have some stuff from Target, which I'll just go through really quick. I actually went in there for his little breakfast bars and they like were out of stock. You know how it is, you go into Target for one thing and you come out with literally not, not even what you went in there for. Um, oh, I did get these as well. So these are the Purina Purely Fancy Feast Natural Hand Flaked Salmon Treats, just one ingredient salmon. Um, it's cracked without byproduct or fillers and they're like little packs in here because my cat does not like any kind of hard treats. I have literally, when I got her from the animal shelter, we went to PetSmart, I got about four different kinds of treats and they were all like hard crunchy treats, which I thought most cats liked anyways, but she does not like that. So I'm hoping since these are soft that maybe she'll like these um, and try these out. She also, like her hard cat food, I've been having to mix it in with these broth things to kind of soften it up because that's the only way that she'll eat it. Um, and then I got these drinks right here because I actually got one of these at a at the gas station the other day. It's Body Armor Sports Drink. I got the orange mango because that's what I tried, like I said, at the gas station, and I liked it. Um, they had these on sale on Target. I think they were usually $7.99. They had them on sale for $4.99. 
thought that was relatively good because in the gas station near me, these are like $2 and something. I like these better than Gatorade and Powerade because Gatorade and Powerade really, really hurts my stomach. I don't know if it's like the dye or something that's in those, but it can really irritate my stomach, especially if I don't have anything on my stomach. Um, and I like these. I feel like they quench my thirst a lot better and they don't leave that weird taste that I feel like Powerade and Gatorade does leave in your mouth. So I do really like this flavor. I think they have other flavors, but my gas station just has this one and is it strawberry watermelon, I think? And I've tried that one and I don't like it as much as I like the orange mango. Right. And then I was actually looking at the graphic tees in the women's section and I always look at the graphic ones in the um, boys slash like men's section because sometimes they have better ones I think than what is in the women's section. And I'm glad I went over to the guys section because I found this one like, oh my gosh, I freaking love Pinky and the Brain. I don't know if I like how many of y'all ever watched that, but it's one of my favorite shows. This also is thicker material, and I find that the ones in the women's part tarts kind of like a thinner material. So if you like something that's a little bit heavier and not as see-through as some of the ones the women's can be, then definitely check out the ones in the men's. They don't have any extra smalls in men's, I don't think, but I did get a small, and I've tried their smalls before. They're a little bit big, but by the time I wash them in hot water, I do feel like they shrink up enough where they will actually fit me, so that's what I do with them. But a lot of my like graphic tee Star Wars ones and stuff like that comes from the men's section in Target. And like I said, I've never had like a problem with them you know, being like too big as long as they just make sure to wash them. If they are like cotton, you know, in hot water, they do usually shrink up. And then I did get this right here. This is from the brand, let's see here, Wild Fable. I've actually never heard of this brand, but it's like a suit jacket kind of, or like a uniform jacket, but it's got like just this cotton kind of zip up right here and like a cotton hood. And I actually went to my mom's afterward and was showing her everything that I got. And she's like, I was like, oh, I just love this. She's like, well, it's okay. She's like, I can't tell if you're wanting to be professional, if you're wanting to be something really laid back. But I, I don't know. I like it. And like I said, fall's coming around. I think this would be really cute. I want to do some like get ready with me like videos showing like outfit ideas and stuff. But um, I like this one. It kind of cinches in just a little bit here. And it does have like actual pockets here that you can... They're not like the fake pockets, they are actual pockets, which I really like, and this was, let me see, this was $35, so again, not too bad, especially for a jacket like this, because the material feels really nice. Um, it's not like, I don't feel like, in my personal opinion, it feels cheap or anything. And then the next stuff I went, what I went to get was from TJ Maxx, and I actually went in there to look for um, those like scratchy things that cats use, they're kind of made out of cardboard, because again, like, I got her a scratching post and I've already got her a cat tree and I got her like those little cardboard things but she's still scratching my walls and I don't know why and if you guys have any suggestions of maybe why she's doing that or anything let me know. The vet told me she might be just trying to get used to her surroundings, sometimes they need it to mark their territory so I don't know. You know how it is when you get a new animal and you try like a million different things. Sorry my chair squeaking. Alright, so this was probably my favorite purchase that I got over the weekend. Uh, this was from TJ Maxx. Like I said, I, I don't know what was wrong this weekend. I have a mindset of exactly what I need to go ahead and get. And I end up looking through pretty much every store. But this is actually from the brand uh, Cable and Gage. And it's this gorgeous like olive green kind of cardigan like a sweater. It's really, really pretty. I love olive green. It's got this like little detailing up here. And then the sleeves, when I tried it on, I noticed are a little bit tighter. They're a little more form fitting. I feel like I do kind of have bigger arms for my size. I did get an extra small, I believe, in this. Um, not sure. Yeah, I did get an extra small and I feel that, like I said, it did fit pretty snug around my arms um, and it's just, it's really cute. It's really nice and then I was like, I had an outfit idea in mind for this. So I went over and looked at the shoes and I found that these shoes, these are from Steve Madden. Oh, that shirt right there was $25 in case you guys were wondering. And these are Steve Madden's. I got them in a seven and a half. I usually wear a seven and a half in Vans if you guys want like a reference. I usually wear like an eight in tennis shoes and then I usually wear a seven to seven and a half in heels and then the same thing, a seven to seven and a half in boots. But I would compare these kind of to Vans because I feel like it fit the same. But yeah, it's got this like checkered kind of material on it and again, it's that olive green that matches that shirt almost perfectly. These, it says, were usually 56 and I got these for $34.99. They also had some gray ones there that had like more of a softer material. It didn't have like this checkered print that I wanted, but they only had them in an 8 and a 7, and I couldn't fit my foot in a 7, and the 8s were just way too big. But yeah, like I said, I have an outfit idea in mind for these, so I was excited to pick that up. And then I went into Marshall's, 
which is like TJ Maxx. So I think they're they might be owned by the same people. I don't like I said I'm not I don't know though, but. I don't know what it is, but again, I'm just into this whole like suit jacket thing. So I got this one right here. This is like a gray. Now this one's like a little bit more of like a fancier, I feel like, material. But usually, you guys know that suit jackets are really expensive. I have some that I paid $180, $200 and some dollars for just for the jacket. Um, but this material's not, it's still nice. It's not as like nice on like the outside I feel like is what you would normally pay but the inside is really soft it's not scratchy it's not itchy I got an extra small on this as well um, it says it was normally $42 I got it for $29.99 this one I feel like though even though it's an extra small it was a little bit big on me in my opinion it wasn't as snug and form-fitting as a lot of the other suit jackets that I have that I like it does only have one button right here in the front and it just buttons um, but yeah like I said, that just looked really good on. And I just, I, like I said, I have these ideas of what I want to do. So, all right. Now I think all that's left, yeah, is the makeup. So, uh, the first thing I got is the Jack and Hill Vault Collection that's come in the mail. I purchased this from Morphe. Um, I've been trying this out. I've tried every single palette out and... I don't like these. Um, I feel like I thought it was just me at first, but I did read some comments and I'm not the only one having problems. Like, I thought when I purchased these, they were going to be the same formula as her original palette, which I have. My God, this chair is so squeaky, which I have right here, but it's not. I feel like my mattes are a lot drier. They're kind of patchy and hard to blend. And my shimmer shades, even when I spritz them with Fix Plus, they're not as vibrant and creamy as opaque as was in her original formula. I have this on my eyes today. That's all that's on my eyes except for this little inner corner, which is one of those Stila ones. I used the Dark Magic palette today. I'll just show you guys what I used real quick. I kind of used this just in my crease to kind of make sure everything blends really nicely. Then I went into the sage right here and just put it all through my entire crease. And then I come down to the shade Mojo and I focused this just kind of like on the outer part right here. Um, and I focused it like on the outer V, but I ended up covering up with the shimmer shade. Um, shimmer shade because it looked really patchy, I felt like. And then this is the shade that I have all over my lid, which is the shade Power Cut. And I just, again, it's okay. Um, not my favorite. I know they said that you could exchange it, so I would really like these to work because I love the colors. Um, I love the shade Bling Boss. This is one of my favorites right here. As you guys can tell, um, I have really just dug into a lot of these because I was just really trying to get them to work, whether it was putting on like a lot of pigment on my eyes or trying to build it up easy. But all, all of mine, I feel like I don't like any of the, like I love the colors, but the quality to me is just overall just not the best. This shade right here, Armed and Gorgeous, this shade Top Secret right here, like I wanted this to work so bad, this green shade. She's got one that's very similar in another one of the palettes as well, but, and then this is the shade Ring the Alarm, which is more of like the Worm Tone palette, which honestly, I'll get the least use out of this palette, um, because I don't love Worm Tones as much as I love more neutral and cooler toned eyeshadows on me personally. But yeah, like I said, I really want it to work. I hope they are going to let people exchange. I have already sent an email. Haven't heard anything back yet. Um, but like I said, I hope they'll let it exchange it and maybe I'll get one that's as creamy and buttery as everybody else keeps talking about. So, guys, my card was full. I forgot to clear off the stuff from the last time that I filmed. But anyways, now on to the Ulta and Sephora stuff. So I'm going to start out with Sephora and basically everything that I got there was skincare because I've noticed since I started taking really better care of my skin, like I kind of got off track there for a while where I was just not doing a best job and I could tell a difference in my skin. But with this new skincare routine, if you guys want to see a skincare routine and kind of like how I keep my acne more under control, like I still have some breakouts going on right here and stuff. Um, but I feel like it's a lot better. My face is just a lot healthier looking. Then let me know and I will do that. But the first thing is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. This is for oily combination skin. It comes in like the cutest little box. It's got like watermelons right here. And um, it looks like this. As you guys can see, I've used a little bit of this. I like this. The only thing is I feel like it does give you like a nice glow to your skin. But it's one of those that I don't like wearing throughout the day if I'm not going to have makeup on because I feel like I get a little bit too oily looking with this. But I actually like this underneath makeup, especially if I'm going to be going in with a really matte foundation. I like it under the NYX foundation, which I am obsessed with this. I have a full review on my channel if you guys want to check that out. But I do like this so far. I like the packaging. Um, it's definitely not my favorite moisturizer out of like the next three I'm going to mention, but I do really like it. Um, now when I now I actually got two of the Laneige products. I actually was introduced to them through Allure. Um, they sent me a little sample of this like sleeping mask by them, and I love it. So I of course I had to repurchase that. That's the Laneige water sleeping mask. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And I really love this. It says it's for all skin types, and this 
Oops. And this is so nice because I feel like it almost feels like water when you apply it to your skin. And then I feel like in the instant that I apply this, my skin just feels so like refreshed but not oily and not greasy but just refreshed and nice and I when I wake up every single morning after I've like worn this I can immediately tell a difference in my skin I probably use this about two times a week though because it is more of like a mask but you do leave it on overnight and like I said I just wake up and my skin looks better if I'm having a rough day with my skin I feel like it's irritated put this on I feel like I wake up the next morning it's calmed it down the redness isn't as bad I really like this and I feel like for a mask this was relatively price pretty fair. I feel like a lot of Laneige products are, they're still expensive high end, but I feel like they're not as expensive as a lot of other skincare brands that are at Sephora. And then, so like I said, I was looking at the other Laneige products. I picked, purchased the Water Bank Hydrating Gel. This is for normal combination skin. I like this and this is really nice underneath makeup. Um, it does have, kind of have like that tacky feel to it. I feel like it kind of takes it a little while to kind of soak into the skin. But I feel that like since it does that, it really keeps my skin hydrated throughout the entire day. Even if, like I said, I go in with a matte foundation, I don't feel like it dry, you know, the matte foundation can, can kind of dry out my skin. And I almost feel like the oiliness of my skin has definitely calmed down since I have started using um, this new skincare routine that I've been doing. And I really like this. The packaging's really nice. It's nice and blue, and it is just, like I said, a gel kind of cream. As you guys can see, I've used not too much of it now, but like I said, I've just been able to see such a difference in my skin since I started using these. Now for my new nighttime moisturizer, what I've been using for the nighttime. This is the Bosha Cactus Water Moisturizer. So it says that it's got all of the good and none of the bad. It's uh, artificial fragrance and color free. It's gluten free, it's for sensitive skin, and this is meant for combination to oily skin. It's preservative free. Um, so yeah, it's just everything that it says I agree with. I really like I really like this. I think that it does such an amazing job. And the color is really cute. So it's actually green. Oops, sorry. It's actually green here on the inside if I can show you guys. And this stuff is really, really nice. It's one of those that I put on and immediately my skin feels so much better. It feels so much moisturized. And I really feel like I said, between all these products, these lines have not been as prominent. Makeup hasn't been sinking in and in me. My skin looks plumper and just looks more hydrated and better. I feel like when you have oily skin, like when you say stuff like hydrating, you kind of get turned off towards it. But literally, like I said, I feel like, it, I mean, it is. This is so nice. I definitely feel like I said, even dry skin people could use this. My mom tried this out and she even liked it and she's a huge fan of the Peter Thomas Roth. I think it's like water drench quench cream. I can't remember what it is, but she's obsessed with that. It's like one of her favorites and she even likes this. It's not as moisturizing. She says the Peter Thomas Roth one, but again, if you have oily skin, that one might be one that you um, do really like. All right, now on for the makeup product that I purchased there, the only makeup product. This is the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. And I actually purchased this because Casey Holmes talks about it and pretty much anything that works for her skin works for my skin. And I have been really, really enjoying this. So it does come with a really pretty like packaging and I've used, you guys could see, I don't know if you guys can see how much I've used yet, but I've used quite a bit, but I feel like this is gonna last you forever. It's like a thicker balm. The first time I tried it out, I was like, ooh, I do not like this, because I felt like it kind of like, I don't know, like tugged on my skin, but what you gotta do is like, you take it out on the scooper. It does put like a little scooper right here, and then I warm it up between my hands, and it almost turns into like, not quite a liquid, but it's not like that thick balm, and then I sit there and I press it into my skin, and then just kind of smooth it out, and it creates such a nice, flawless base on the skin. I feel like I said it just works so well under any foundation that I've used so far. Um, and I think that if you're someone who's looking for something that kind of fills in your pores, that kind of puts a nice barrier between your skin and your foundation, then that is a really good one. It is very pricey, but I definitely, in my opinion, think that it is worth it. All right, so now everything else I purchased is from Ulta. So the first thing I actually purchased was the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter Duo with Applicator. So I actually purchased this because I think they said it was on sale and I really like a lot of Laura Geller's like blushes and their powder foundation. Can't get this open. So I wanted to purchase this, but in my opinion, I probably wouldn't purchase this. Like I'm just, it's not a product that I'm gonna recommend. So it is for this little applicator, which I did try out as you guys can see, but it's just like one of those foam applicators like I'll never use that again. And it does come in with the same packaging as like their um, powders does, but of course mine's all nasty and gross because I travel with it and I love it. But basically what I got from this is this is more like a highlighter on this side and then you do have more of like a setting, more setting powder because I couldn't use this as a highlighter so I actually tried using this underneath my eyes. And for me, I just didn't like how 
this powder set underneath my eyes and I did not like this shade right here on my skin tone. Just in my opinion, it wasn't very pigmented. It was just, yeah, you know, I wouldn't purchase it again. So, and then next I purchased the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This is the Highlighting Blush Bronzing and Veil Palette. And first off, I love the actual packaging that it comes in. Um, it's so incredibly pretty. Too Faced has such nice packaging. I'm just like throwing trash everywhere. And, let's see. Oh yeah, so here, so this is the palette. It is so incredibly pretty. It does have that material that stuff kind of sticks to it. But then it's got like a little heart right here. And you do get two highlighters in here two blushes and then two bronzers. The highlighters, this one has a little bit of an iridescent to it. This is Starlight, this is Satin Sheets. Satin Sheets is my favorite. I feel like it's a little bit dark for me. But like I said, I feel like I can kind of make it work more when I've got a tan. And then you get you to have the two blushes, um, which is Pink Wink, Pink Sand, and then the two bronzers, Sunny Honey and Travit Like It's Hot. Too Faced has some of my favorite bronzers. I literally have their um, Too Faced bronzer right here. And I love it. It's such a nice bronzer. This to me is one of my favorite more glowy bronzers, especially if you have like a complete matte foundation on. This is a really good one to try out to add some glow to your face. And then I picked up these. Oh, okay. These are actually from Walmart. The um, Physicians Formula Butter Highlighters. I have the shade Champagne and Pearl. I'm not sure. I think it was Rose Gold and it was another shade, but uh, Rose Gold didn't look like it would work on my skin tone. So... I did just pick these two up. I love the butter, um, the butter, what's it called? The butter bronzer. These are one of my favorite bronzers. And these are very similar. The packaging is a little bit different. My camera will focus. It's not going to focus, is it? There we go. Um, this one right here is a really pretty gold. It says it's a champagne, but I think, oh my gosh, these feel like butter. Exactly what they say. I mean, oh, okay. These are really, really pretty. They're very pigmented, and this one is in the shade Pearl. I Like I said, I feel like Pearl's too light for me, and the Champagne one's too dark for me, so maybe I can mix them both, but these are really, really pretty. And I gotta be honest, I feel like the gold one feels just a little bit creamier and a little bit more pigmented than the Pearl shade, but this is the Pearl shade, and then this is that really pretty um, gold shade. And also, I did forget I purchased this from Walmart as well. This is a Master Chrome by Face Studio the shade Molten Rose Gold. The gold shade was way too dark on my skin tone, so I got this thinking it might be like a little bit lighter, but um, I think this is actually a little bit dark, um, darker than that gold one, but I thought it was gonna be more of like a pink, a pinky rose, but I definitely feel like it leans a little bit more on the gold side. And now the rest of this is from Ulta. So uh, this I actually just broke when I was pulling it out of the, um, as you guys can see, out of the bag. I think it's gonna be okay, but yeah, I, I think this will still be usable, but I have tried these already, and I'm not a super huge fan of the formula of these. Um, go ahead and swatch them for you guys. But this just, like I said, these are more natural highlighters, which I usually like, but it's just the formula doesn't glide on very smooth, and I just feel like, in my opinion, I have other drugstore highlighters that work a lot better. They're not bad or anything like that. Like, I'm not saying they're bad. I just feel like I said they're not my favorite. I do want to continue to try to use them, though, but like I said, the packaging, I mean, this was my fault. I literally dropped it. It just, it just busted. But I still think, like I said, they should be usable. Maybe I'll pop them out and put them in, like, a Z palette if they're yeah, I think they're, um, put them in a Z palette. All right, now the rest of this is from Ult. So I did pick up the Eco Tool sponge again. I love this. It's my Holy Girl favorite sponge. As I mentioned in my last video, that cat I adopted got a hold of my sponges. And when I come home, let's just say I had like three, three left out of all the sponges I had. And then I picked up some of the Too Faced liquid lipsticks. I picked the shade of wine and not in sellout. I think I picked up another one, but I don't know what I did with it. There is wine and not, and then there's sellout. And then I did get this mascara tryout. It's a superhero mascara from It Cosmetics. It was like the birthday gift from um, Ulta. So I'm excited to try that out. And then these are the two new items that are new to me. So, so um, I don't know if Sephora got this first, but Steel um, like put out a new collection, like a fall. I don't know if it's a fall collection or what, but they come out with like duo eyeshadows, I think, and then these. And like I wanted the blue one of these. This is in Vivid Jade. But the blue one was out of stock, but when I swatched the sample that they had out there, I about died. And same thing with this. Like, I cannot wait to wear this color on my actual lid. If you guys know, 
See, I have a huge obsession with these. They are like my favorite makeup product ever. <laughs> and then I picked this up, which this is new to me. This is the Makeup Revolution Flawless Foils. Um, this was in the new section. I wanted the highlighter palette as well, um, but they had like two shades and the lighter shade was out of stock. So I didn't want to get a shade that the palette doesn't be too dark for me. It does come with this. I'm not sure how to use these and there is no instructions on. Yeah, there's no instructions on here. But I did get the shade Rebound. I want to see if I can just... Okay, so they're very, like, moussey feeling. So I don't know if, like, do I just pop that product in there or do I... So like I said, I'm going to have to get online and kind of read about these. But I'm going to see, like I said, I'm just going to... Ooh, oh, wow. Okay, so these are really, really pretty. That is really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's without mixing in this little bit of... Um, intensifying primer so I wonder if you take a little bit out and mix it together and then apply it so again I'm not sure I'll have to try it out I might do like a full video trying out a bunch of this makeup um, for you guys but yeah I hope you enjoyed this haul I know it was a long video because I'm looking up here at the timer I do apologize I had a lot of stuff I'll try not to let it get so piled up next time but if you guys have any other video requests or products you guys would like to see just let me know down below and as always thank you guys so much for watching bye